The following items are used to describe dimensions in engineering drawings. The dimension is a value stated in millimetres. A dimension line will be drawn as a thin continuous line with arrowheads. Projection lines are drawn as thin continuous lines perpendicular to the dimension line. Millimetres are used in all engineering drawings, even when large objects are documented. In some cases, other units are used, but this must be clearly stated in a note on the drawing. Every engineer who is used to working with the metric system will expect a drawing to be dimensioned in millimetres if no specific exception is made in writing on the drawing. Unit conversion mistakes can lead to catastrophic consequences, like the Mars orbiter which was lost by NASA in 1999 due to different teams in the project using different units for their calculations. You will encounter the following dimension types. A length, for example the length of a line. A distance between two items such as lines, arcs or other contours. A diameter, denoting the size of a hole or a cylindrical object. A radius, in the case where the dimensional item is not a full circle an angle between two lines. All objects in engineering can be broken down into sub-items. Each sub-item has its size and position. When all the sub-items presented on a drawing are dimensioned in such a way that their size and position are given, all details of the part are documented. The goal of dimensioning is to give all the information needed to manufacture the part shown on a drawing. A datum feature should be chosen for each direction of dimensioning. The datum feature is where the dimension starts. It ends at the dimensioned item. Once a datum is chosen in a specific direction, all dimensions in that direction should start from that chosen item. The datum feature can be present in more than one view. Consequent use of the same datum feature in every view is mandatory. Modern production techniques work with programmed data to operate a machine. The machine needs to have a reference point in all directions, the zero point. This zero point complies to the datum feature in the engineering drawing. The tool always starts from the zero point and the dimensions that are shown on a drawing correspond to the motion of the tool. Manually operated machines require the same logic. Always make sure that the craftsmen in a tool shop do not have to do any calculations to be able to operate their machines. Datum features can be indicated on drawings as shown in the example. But even without an explicit indication of the datum, any trained engineer will recognise a datum feature by the way the dimensions are arranged. The hole on the left side of the triangular crank is the datum feature for both the horizontal and the vertical dimensions in the front view. The three rounded triangular lightning holes all have their size and position. The size of the holes is given by dimensions from centre to centre of the arcs. The arc radius is given by a dimension R6 followed by the numeral 9 and the multiplication symbol in parentheses, which means that all nine arcs have a 6mm radius. The combination of the linear dimensions and the radius dimension fully describes the lightning hole shapes. The position of each lightning hole is given by a dimension starting at the datum feature, the left hole ending at one of the arc centres. Each sub-item, in this case a lightning hole, is dimensioned relative to the datum feature in the horizontal and vertical direction. In this way, both the size and position of the lightning holes are unambiguously documented. A design contains many dimensions. Some of them are more important than other ones. Engineers distinguish functional and non-functional dimensions. A functional dimension is directly related to an object's function. If a functional dimension is changed, the functionality of the part in its context is not guaranteed. Functional dimensions should always be documented on a drawing. In the triangular crank, the layout of the three main holes is designed in such a way that the four-bar mechanism can perform a specific function. The extension of a high-lift device from the folded position to the extended position. Changing the position of the holes will change the angle and trajectory of the four-bar mechanism, 
so a correct positioning of the holes is essential for the part's function. Note, all dimensions of the three holes in the front view are functional dimensions. The size and position of the lightening holes in the triangular crank can be changed without affecting the mechanism's function. Therefore, these dimensions are non-functional dimensions. If these dimensions were not registered on the part's drawing, the craftsman responsible for manufacturing the part would lack the information required to produce the part according to the drawing. However, even if the lightning holes are left out in the manufactured part, the part would still be able to perform its function. All dimensions should only occur once per drawing. This means if a dimension is given in the front view, you should not give it again in any other view on the drawing. It also means that it is not allowed to give a dimension which you can deduct by combining other dimensions. In some cases, however, it might be very useful to supply information about an object which is readable at first sight. This kind of dimension is referred to as an auxiliary dimension. The numeral is placed in parentheses to indicate the dimension is already given by a combination of other dimensions. In the angled linkage, the total horizontal and vertical dimensions are defined by the distances of the whole centers, the radius of the part's ends, and the angle of the left side of the part relative to the horizontal. For the person who is responsible for production of this part, the outer dimensions of the part will be useful to know, because raw material of a certain size should be ordered for the part. Instead of calculating the outer dimensions based on the given dimensions, the person can read the auxiliary dimensions directly from the drawing if they are provided.